What's up y'all? In this video I wanted to show y'all how to create a live gradient background with a clip mask transparent image using Garnum JS in React. This is what we're going to be building right here. We have a live gradient background and we have the greatest basketball player of all time. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so if you don't have a React app made, go ahead and make one. And the first thing that we're going to be doing is installing our package, Granum. So that's just going to be npm install granum dash dash save. You can do it without the dash dash save. I'm just going to add it and let that work its magic. Alrighty, so now we've installed the package and I've started up my app using npm start. And what we're going to do now is just import our package. So I'm going to do import granum from granum. Alright, so now we've imported granum. And what we're going to do now is create a use effect that's going to host our new granum object. So I'll just do new granum and I'll give it an element of hashtag logo canvas, a direction. There's lots of directions you can go. Um, I'm going to go left to right. The link to the documentation is down below so you can explore that a little bit more. I'll give it an opacity of 1 to 1. I'll give it states. Inside of there, I'll give it a default state. And now here's where I can give it the gradients that it needs. So the way to give it gradients is that you have an empty array block filled with multiple other array blocks for each indice. So here's one. I'll put in hashtag e e 9 Seven. No, oh, oops. Hashtag ee. -E. Okay. And let's just see what GitHub Copilot gives me. Hopefully, it's not the exact same thing over and over. Eh, that should be fine. Whatever. Cool. So now we have the gradients. What we have to now define is the transition speed between each indice of gradient. So instead of 5,000, I'll give it 10,000 milliseconds. And right at the end of the use, oh, I didn't cover any use effect. <laughs> Oops. So we need to put it inside of a use effect, just like so. There we go. And I'll save that. Cool. All right, so now we've defined all the properties that we need for Granum to work and apply the gradient to our uh, component. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create the HTML block, and that's going to be really simple. So I have this div right here. I'm going to change the name from app to just block logo. And instead of there, I'm going to define a canvas. Oops, let's get rid of this stuff right here with an ID, not a uh, not a class name, but an ID of logo canvas. And inside of there, I will give it a div with a class name of logo mask. And now if we save it, and if I go back into the app, uh, What's wrong with this? Cannot read properties undefined reading default state. Did I misspell it? D E F A O T. Hold on, let me resave it. Okay. Oh, we need to do states, not state. -a. Whoops, there we go. Okay, cool. So now we have a gradient. Let's increase the transition speed from 10,000. Let's go up to, down to 2,000. And now we see that. There we go. So we have a pretty fast gradient. So now what we're going to do is we will be applying a clip, an image mask on top of this. So basically, an image with a transparent background. All right, so to do that, what we have to do is edit our CSS. 
So the first thing that I'm going to do is I've already I already have a CSS file made called Lord and Savior CSS. I've misspelled it, and I'm just going to go ahead and import it. Dot slash Lord and Savior CSS, and inside of there, what we're going to do is we are going to be editing our main class name right here called block logo. So let's do block logo. And inside of there, I'll give it a position of relative width 100%, height 100vh, float we will do, eh, you know, we don't need to float. All right, so now what we're going to do is we need to find an image that already has a transparent background to it so that we can apply it on top of our gradient. And the image that I found for that is this picture of LeBron, the greatest of all time. I don't know why Google is not showing it as a transparent background, but there is nothing behind him. So to do that, what we're going to be doing first is we're going to target our logo mask. And inside of there, I'll give it a position of absolute. Give it a top zero, width 100%, height 100%, left zero, background, size, we'll do contain. And this is where we're going to give it the background image. So I just, go, I just went ahead and copied the actual images link and put it into there. And that should be about it. So let's go ahead and check if this worked. Oosh, that's not working. So we got to extend our, uh, our canvas to stretch the entire screen. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And that's really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to target the canvas. And we'll give it a width of 100% and a height of 100 VH. And now I think it should be fine. That is even worse, wow, okay. Let me see if I targeted it properly. Now let's do logo canvas. Hmm, okay, let's try this out. Let's do block logo canvas block logo logo oops logo mask and now it should have covered there we go now it covers the entire screen cool all right that concludes the tutorial now we have a perfect website made of the greatest basketball player of all time with a live grading in the background i suggest that you guys tinker around with the actual documentation of this library it's pretty cool i'll attach the link down below and as always, if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.